One look outside and you can tell we're in the midst of a cold snap and some people in Kentucky and will be facing the cold temperatures on the streets tonight. Elspeth spoke with a man who is doing his best to keep them warm. These are people that I've had to bury here locally that have been through the outreach. We don't want to be adding anything else to the bench, you know. Blankets, coats, tents, personal hygiene items, all things needed as Paul Stinstrad prepares to head to the streets tonight for outreach for the homeless community. Everything's closed right now. The guys were wet from last night. Finding shelter is very difficult right, near, right now in southern Indiana. According to Stinstrad, this past year has left the homeless of southern Indiana with few options on where to go when it is cold. It's a struggle this year because of the fact of the, uh, the COVID-19 and um, where do they go? And here in southern Indiana, we don't have as many options as, as they do in Louisville. So technically during the daytime, they don't have somewhere to go. Um, at nighttime, they don't have nowhere to go. And both the director of the Homeless Coalition of Southern Indiana, Leslie Townsend Cronin, and Stinstrud believe in the next few months, there will be an increase of homeless in the area. And they attribute it to one thing. Southern Indiana does not have the program and resources that we need. And in all of Indiana, there's a shortage of affordable housing. Right now it is housing. Uh, there's not enough housing. And then reflecting back to COVID-19, the evictions. The evictions have not started. A study by global investment firm Stout estimates up to 14 million households could already be close to eviction with a rental shortfall of more than 24 billion, a number compounded by the economic fallout of the pandemic, which has put many out of work and at risk of displacement for the first time in their lives. And the question is, where do those people go when they are forced out of their homes? We are not going to be able to carry the burden of the need in southern Indiana at this point. And so we're going to see more people living out of their cars. We're going to see more people that are evicted. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Elle Smith.